Hello all and welcome to our discussion on chapter 13, which is religion in families. Children in early childhood classrooms will come from families with a variety of religious beliefs and this week we will explore religion in families in the United States. Uh, this week we have four objectives. Our first objective is to explore and respect differing religious beliefs. Our second objective is to understand the impact of religious celebrations. Our third ob objective is to explore how to find accurate information and gain essential knowledge of religions and on religions. And our fourth objective is to practice culturally responsive care. Here is the religious makeup of the United States based on a 2016 poll by the Public Religion Research Institute. This table shows that 70.6% of Americans, people in the U.S., uh, practice Christianity, 46.5% are Pro Protestant, 25.4% are Evangelical Protestant, 14.7% are mainline Protestant, 6.5% are Black Church, 20.8% are Catholic, 1.6% Mormon, 8.8% are Jehovah's Witnesses, 0.5% are Eastern Orthodox, 0.4% uh, are other forms of Christianity, 22.8% are unaffiliated with religion, 15.8% said nothing in particular, 4% are agnostic, 3.1% are atheist, 5.9% are non-Christians, 1.9% are Jewish, 0.9% are Muslim, 0.7% are Buddhist, 0.7% are Hindu, 1.8% uh, are other non-Christian, and 0.6% didn't know or didn't answer. And in 2019, California had the following representations of religious beliefs. We have 32% Protestant, 28% Catholic, 27% non-religious, 3.2% Jewish, and 1% Muslim. So with all of these different religions, what can educators do to help people feel included and welcome in an early childhood environment? Religions have emerged and developed across the world. Some have been short-lived, while others have persisted and grown. Early childhood education programs are often the first context in which children are confronted with different religions and religious attitudes than those experienced at home or with the family environment. And it is very important that they learn to treat each other with respect and to be sensitive to differences. Young children do notice religious differences even when they don't quite understand it or may not have the language to fully explain it yet. Communication plays a role in dealing with religious differences. Religious difference increases the need for communication about religion and religions. Early childhood education is a place for discussion between teachers, children, and families. If the staff and or families in an early childhood program have a different religious affiliation or differing religious affiliations, communication about their different religious traditions can occur in the classroom. Communication about religious difference can bring challenges, but when programs create trusting reciprocal relationships with families dealing with conflicts, including dealing with religious conflicts, it offers the opportunities for programs to become more culturally responsive. In educating, in educating, in education, including early childhood education, there is a tendency to focus exclusively, exclusively on the major religion or religions and not on the minor religions. Research has found that children of the minor religions often do not feel comfortable expressing themselves about their religion or their religious expressions, and that their religion is given little attention by early childhood education programs in general or in the behavior of the teachers. Child care centers should promote inclusion and integration of 
all religious perspectives and not just hide it or bypass it or just be ignorant of it. That means not celebrating one specific holiday like Christmas, but celebrating a variety of holidays through a winter celebration or something similar like that, which is something that we have already discussed and we will continue to discuss throughout this course. When children of different world religions live together in the group, the children have a right to be heard and told about their respective traditions. Multicultural children's literature can be used to help children become more aware of the many religions and religious traditions. Reading and discussing multi multicultural literature fosters opportunities for students to not only learn about world religions, but to explore commonalities and differences amongst people from a variety of places and religious practices. Children need explanations from adults in order to understand religious differences they notice. Children are often not given an explanation on the relig religious background of some children who observe different religious traditions. If the children do not know the reason for the difference, they may unintentionally find an explanation that is hurtful or irritating for the other child concerned. As early childhood educators, we are constantly learning and growing. One way to do that is through professional development. Training of awareness of religious difference and expansion, expansion of knowledge about different religions can take place to help build knowledge. Through support and professional development opportunities, the fears and concerns of of the teachers and administrators can be addressed. This can lead to increased comfort surrounding addressing religious differences in the classroom and beyond. A family's spiritual, spirituality and religion may affect the values and beliefs children have. The way they understand, know, and celebrate life transitions, their concepts of good and evil, and how they relate to respect and honor religious figures in the natural world. Children may have particular clothing, hairstyles, slash head covering, and food slash eating practices that are important to their families and religious beliefs. It is important for early childhood education programs to know, understand, respect, and honor the religious and spiritual beliefs of the families and the children that they serve. That is a wrap for this week. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just want to chat, as always, please reach out to me via email or campus inbox. Um, that is all for now. I hope everybody has a fabulous rest of their weeks, and I will see you next week.